Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. We've got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up that screen. Jacory Witted is very high on the Vols, and he this guy is an absolute freak athlete. I watched his highlights, and he's kind of come out of nowhere. He's put on a bunch of weight, and he's just uh, a beast on the field. So let's take a look at uh, what's going on with him. All right, he's from Alabama. He uh, plays tight end, and he has received an offer from the Vols after a recent visit. Now, um, he visited for the first time in June, and UT was very interested in him. Says the class of uh, 24 tight end from uh, Alabama said he was very excited to get an offer from the Vols during his visit on July 30th, so he's already been here a couple of times. Says they're one of the three SEC teams now pursuing him, and he said he's really looking at them after his second trip to Tennessee in less than two months. And he said it was a surprise. Um, he's ranked 25th tight end in the 24 class and the number 23 uh, junior from Alabama. I, I think he's going to rise pretty quickly. He's uh, six foot five, 250 pounds, and he's very explosive. He's got a lot of speed for his size. Uh, Mississippi State, Auburn, Michigan State um, are looking at him, and I think Alabama's going to wind up taking a look at him. Says it's still early in the recruiting process for Witted, but he admitted that Tennessee has already made a strong impression on him. He expects to visit the Vols again sometime this fall. He says, I'm really looking at him right now. We're definitely going to a game there this season. Witted said he liked what he saw at Tennessee when he traveled there in June. He was again impressed during his visit with the Vols uh, less than two weeks ago. He said, I just loved everything about it, especially how the coaches are very hands-on, the facility. He said, I like the weight room. Everything uh, went well. And uh, Alex Golish, the uh, coordinator and tight ends coach, um, he spent a bunch of time with him. And Golish was very high on him. Said he's gotten actually taller and heavier since the end of his sophomore season, adding about 20 pounds during the offseason. Said that may be one of the reasons he already has picked up a handful of offers. I think that's definitely the reason. He just to getting bigger and faster. He said, I think the main thing was probably my film and how I play. Said he grew up liking Alabama, but even if he gets an offer from home state, uh, Crimson Tide, he's going to look at them and Tennessee the same. Said it'd be a very high chance for both of them. And he wants early playing time. Well, if you want that, you don't want to go to Bama. You're going to want to come here. <laughs> now let's take a look at some of this uh, film on this guy, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, this guy is on another level. Okay, here he is right here. And no, you won't be tackling me. I'm way too big for you. And he's really hard to tackle. Now, he plays wide receiver, but he's 250 pounds. Now, watch this crap. Nope, I'll just push you down. No, you can't. No, you can't. No. Boom. Okay, it takes, what, four of you to tackle me? That's ridiculous. He's a defensive lineman playing wide receiver. Look at that speed at 250 pounds. He just runs by that little guy. And he's got good hands for a big man. Now imagine you're this little 160 pound guy and here comes a 250 pound six foot five dude and you're supposed to tackle him. That's such a mismatch right there. Just throw it up and boom, of course he catches it. This guy's, you know, crap. He's about probably 5'10". That's just, that's really not fair. I mean, when you put somebody out here this big, oh, this is not going to be good. Yeah, you'll, you have no chance of tackling me now. I got my speed up, boom. <laughs> And then just throw it up again, a little back shoulder pass. Yeah, there they're just getting him the ball. It's like, just go ahead and get his 15 yards real quick. So it's obvious what Tennessee wants to do. They want even their biggest guys to be fast. Everything that Tennessee does is about speed, especially in the wide receiver tight end department. Speed's what we need. We need greasy fast speed yep definitely and we've got a bunch of speedsters we've got a uh, squirrel white who is super fast runs 23 miles per hour that's ridiculous and then you've got jalen wright who runs like 22.3 miles per hour and you've got some cornerbacks that are super fast we have a lot of speed on this team jalen hyatt i think he's almost 23 miles per hour uh, top speed as well you know sub four five sub four four it's um there's just tons of speed on this team, and that's what uh, and that's what Hypo wants. 
He wants to cause havoc. Not only does he want to go fast with his offense, spread you out, but he wants the guys getting the ball to be super quick and uh, have that top end speed. And, and we've got a lot of that. And he's going to keep going for that. Now, I can tell you by looking at that film, there's going to be a ton of SEC teams interested in this guy. I mean, six foot five, 250, runs like the wind with good hands and can play wide receiver. I mean, that's just a mismatch waiting to happen, especially in the end zone. If you just want to throw it up, nothing better than having a guy that big who can just shield off the defensive player and then catch it. I mean, he'd be ideal for that type of play. And these other SEC teams are going to come, uh, come running for this guy. Oh, yeah, they're going to come running like the weasel and we're going to try to throw offers at him. But he needs to remember that we offered you first. You know, we were the one big school that offered you first. And uh, the coaches really obviously want him, so hopefully he'll remember that. And I think, and I think he'd be a great pickup for 2024. All right, and that's a Ja'Cory Witted today. Um, he's very high on the Vols, and I understand that. And the Vols are very high on him. I think this would be an excellent pickup. If you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the Vols, and especially recruiting. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd certainly appreciate it. I'm new at this. I've only been doing uh, four or five weeks of the Vols. So I can use some subscribers. And I hope you did like the content. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.